What does Ted Nugent have in common with FBI agents? A 10 millimeter auto handgun. Designed by Colonel Jeff Cooper in 1983 to replace the 45 ACP, the 10 millimeter has a flatter trajectory, transfers energy better from bullet to target, and features a cartridge short enough to use in a semi automatic pistol. The FBI Firearms Training Unit reevaluated the firearms its agents used after the tragic 1986 Miami shootout. The performance of the 9mm and 38 Special had proven to be inadequate, so the 10mm was field tested by the FBI in a 1911 style firearm. In 1988, the FBI ordered 10,000 Smith and Wesson 1076 pistols to issue to its agents. During field trials, the recoil was too much for the average agent, so they reduced the power. The lighter load had less recoil, but didn't work in the Smith & Wesson pistol. This led the FBI to cancel their order of the pistols after only 2,400 were delivered. The arrival of the 40 S&W signaled the end of the 10mm as it was easily controlled. Despite the FBI's preference for the 40 S&W, the 10mm remains a capable cartridge and performs exactly as designed. There is a group of devoted followers who think the extra recoil is worth the increased effectiveness for self-defense. It's powerful enough to take most North American game, even troops in Denmark use the round as defense against polar bears. All the major American ammunition manufacturers still produce it, with smaller companies such as Corbon, Double Tap and Triton also making semi-custom high-performance rounds. A 10mm pistol makes a quality addition to any gun safe, and its presence on the range is a conversation starter. Check out today's best ammo deals by visiting us at ammo.com, follow us on social media, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube for more high-quality videos to help you stay armed, both physically and philosophically.